Sanam. Hi, I'm Felice Austin. This video is a quick tutorial for my clients who have already taught EFT, who need a reminder, or who I haven't taught and I'm about to teach. This is a very quick intro. So first you're going to think of the problem or the emotion and rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. For example, anger. I'm feeling a 10 in anger. Or let's say I have a memory about fifth grade and it's got like about a seven charge with embarrassment, something like that. So you rate the problem and then you're gonna find these points, one or both of these points. Um, if you find this little indentation and go down about three inches and over either side about three inches, you'll find the tender spot. It's usually tender, not always. And when you find it, it's called the compassion points. You just rub both of them or one. If you're driving, you can do one-handed. Um, I like to do two though, because why not use two houses and to wash the car, right? So, and then as you rub this spot, you're going to repeat the phrase three times. Let's take anger, okay? Even though I have this anger, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this anger, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this anger, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. So you would say that three times. And then you're going to go through and tap on the meridian endpoints as you think about the anger. And you're really going to get in touch with the anger. Um, so we start with the outside of the eyebrows. Anger. And you're going to tap about five to seven times on each point. Anger. Anger. Okay, the outside of the eyebrow now. So after, so after you do the eyebrow, you come under the eyes. Kind of close to the nose, on one or both sides. And then under the no under the nose. And then under the lip, anger. Really get in touch with the feeling. Try to bring it up. And then the next point is one or both of these little knobs, these little bones here, anger. And then under the arm, about a hand down, this is where your bra strap is if you're a woman and you wear a bra, anger. And you can do both if you want, anger. And then the next point is under the breasts or under the pecs, there's a liver point there, just kind of hit it, anger. And then the wrists, outside of the wrists, center of the wrists, other outside of the wrists, anger, anger, think about that, anger, and then the last point is the top of the head, just tap it, top of the head, anger, and you can go through one more time or two more times, and then when you're, when you've done it once or twice, you just take a deep breath, and you think about that anger, or that emotion, or that memory with the charge on it, and you see if you had to give it another rating on a scale of 1 to 10, where is it now? And 9 times out of 10, maybe 99, 95% of the time, it will have gone down a lot. Um, even if it's gone down just a little, like say it was a 10, now it's a 9. It's still, it's still a big thing. So then you would go through the process again. The only difference, until you get it down to 0. The only difference is when you're doing it the second or third time. When you repeat the phrase, you're going to say it a little different. You're going to say, even though I have this remaining anger, or whatever it is, I still love and accept myself. So even though I have this remaining anger, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you would do remaining anger, remaining anger. Okay, that's the simple, short, easy way. It's a very forgiving technique. Uh, if you miss a point or if you say something wrong, it, it's okay. It'll usually work anyway. And then um, if you have, if you ever have a problem where something doesn't go down, um, maybe try a different emotion. Also, sometimes when you bring down one emotion like anger, another one will come up because anger often covers other emotions. And so then you just tap down on the second or third emotion until you feel pretty good. And if you tap on just a few things every day for 30 days, that's about 90 things, your whole life will be a lot more peaceful. Satnam.